movie fans. In my last video, I did the top five popular movies that I personally cannot stand for the life of me. So today, I'll do the inverse. I will do very unpopular or on the fence movies that I really get a lot of guilty pleasures out of. These are movies that you wouldn't suspect that I actually enjoy, but I very much do. That being said, kicking us off at number five is Man of Steel. Now, Man of Steel, I know a lot of people that like it. I know a lot of people that hate it. The movie itself, I believe, is like right on the 50% margin on Rotten Tomatoes of either like or dislike. But me, personally, I love the movie. I thought it was a great representation of Superman. Yes, I'm even including the ending. I support the ending of Man of Steel. And I believe Henry Cavill was a great casting choice. And I know there's going to be a lot of comments in the section below, but I think Henry Cavill is a better Superman than Christopher Reeves. I just believe he knows the characters better. Don't believe me? Watch some of his interviews that he has done for Man of Steel. He knows his character well and he acts upon it. Cavill wishes to be a role model, kind of like the Clark Kent character. Was the movie perfect? Oh, absolutely not. I would have wished they would have split up the action and not saved it for the last 45 minutes of the film, but overall, I personally loved it, despite what everyone else says. At number four, we have Pirates of the Caribbean 4. Now, the Pirates franchise is a bit hit or miss. I really, really liked the first one a lot, but I don't think it needed sequels whatsoever. Two and three really kind of lost me. Three was way complicated and I couldn't follow it at all. But four, it got back to the roots of one and that's why I like it. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I like the characters in it. I wasn't sick of Jack Sparrow yet. I am now though. And it was a nice, fun, different thing that we got from movies two and three, which were getting too convoluted and bizarre to be that fun anymore. So four, you were flawed, but you were a lot of fun, and I enjoy you very much. At number three, we have another Disney movie, Prince of Persia. Now this movie was a colossal failure, and I don't get why, unfortunately. This movie came out in around 2009, 2010, and it was before the Hall revival, before he became a big name, legit uh, movie star with movies like Nightcrawler and Prisoners and a couple others. This movie really fell by the wayside, and it really shouldn't have. I know a lot of critics didn't like it, but I personally had a lot of fun with it. It was a great cast. They seemed like they knew what they were doing. We have yet to have a great video game movie, but this is certainly a solid good one. We've had terrible, terrible video game movies, but I'd make the case that this is at least an enjoyable one that doesn't make you want to rip your eyes out after watching it. Is Prince of Persia a perfect movie? No, and that's why it's a guilty pleasure. At number two, we have any of the Halloween movie sequels. I, I'm i still scratching my head about this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's a connection to the original Halloween movie by John Carpenter, but I really enjoy the Halloween sequels. Not all of them, exactly. I don't like Halloween 3 because there's no Michael Myers, so it really does not connect to the Halloween franchise whatsoever. And I also wasn't a huge fan of the one with Busta Rhymes. I don't remember which one that was, but it was really weird and bizarre and felt like the death of a franchise. Oh wait, that's because it was. I also don't like the newer Rob Zombie movies, because those are something else entirely. But I do still like some of the original sequels, like Halloween 2, 4, 5, the one with Paul Rudd, and the one where... Michael Myers, spoiler alert, finally dies, quote unquote. They were a lot of fun and kept some of the same scares, not to the level of the first one, it wasn't as iconic as that first one, but it didn't completely ruin the franchise like some other horror sequels did for their franchise. So, what is the number one guilty pleasure of mine? It's a terrible movie and I don't know why I like it, but I always seem to get enjoyment out of watching it. Clash of the Titans. There's atrocious acting, atrocious dialogue, but boy is it a fun action movie. I, it, I'm a Greek mythology person, and this is not any mythology whatsoever. It makes zero sense, but it is just white knuckle action throughout with Liam Neeson saying, release the Kraken. I'll be perfectly honest, that's probably the best part of the movie. It's, it makes no sense in my mind, but 
every time I watch it, it's so ridiculously over the top that that's what makes it fun. None of the actors really stand out, but because they're all just there for the heck of it, and just to have fun, it makes it a fun movie. Now, Wrath of the Titans, that's just a bad movie across the board. I'm not, I'm not advocating Wrath at all. But Clash of the Titans, it is atrociously bad, but for some reason or another, it's my biggest guilty pleasure. What about you guys? What are those movies that you pop in the DVD player and hope nobody sees you or else they'll judge you big time for watching them? Let me know in the comments below. And also in the comments, let me know what you would like to see for future videos. If you like what you see and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel or hit up the like button on Facebook at facebook.com slash movieguy17 or you can follow me on Twitter at nmovieguy17. Stay sharp, movie guys and gals.